The Rise is back this week, and we are excited to welcome you in to the American Digital Network studio. I'm Haley Outen. The fall season is just getting started. Let's get to the top headlines around the league. In women's soccer, the defending American champion, USF, moved up to as high as number 19 in this week's national polls. All-American forward Evelyn Vienne continues to prove why she is one of the best in the country. Take a look at this goal, which came in a 4-0 win over Detroit Mercy. Vienne, using her speed to get behind the defense, takes a touch, cuts inside, then pushes it past the keeper. Vienne currently ranks 15th nationally in points per game, with three goals and three assists so far this season. On the men's side, the Americans' first hat trick of the season came from UCF forward Cal Jennings in a victory over Liberty. Here's goal number one. Jennings, dribbling down the middle, takes the left-footed shot from 18 yards out to the far post past the keeper. Then goal number two comes from a similar spot, this time with the right foot to the far post. And goal number three to cap it off with a bang. The ball crossed in. Jennings with the volley to steal the hat trick. The Knights would go on to win 4-1. Jennings finished with seven points on the week and earned the league's top offensive honors. Temple's first win of the season came in style with a 1-0 victory over number 25 Old Dominion on Sunday. It was the second win over a ranked team for the American this season. In women's volleyball, it was UCF who stole the headlines in last week's action, taking down number 7 USC. The Knights were led by Christina Fisher, who had a match-high 20 kills in the marquee victory. It just so happens that UCF head coach Todd Dagenet is no stranger to the Trojans. He spent three years in Southern California as an assistant before taking over in Orlando. It wasn't just UCF that made a statement last week. Cincinnati pulled off a trio of wins, two over Power 6 opponents. The Bearcats defeated number 25 Colorado State, TCU, and Florida State. Jordan Thompson made her presence felt, ending the weekend with three double-doubles and Colorado State Tournament MVP honors. Thompson leads the nation in kills per set, points, points per set, and kills. A couple of other important notes. Houston is off to an 8-0 start, its best since 1987. UConn head coach Chris Grunwald reached the 100-win milestone. Also, UCF, Cincinnati, and Wichita State are receiving votes in the AVCA National Coaches Poll. Out on the links, we turn to former American SMU standout Bryson DeChambeau, who is the first player to win back-to-back -back starts on the PGA Tour this season. He did it in consecutive weeks in the FedEx Cup playoffs. Last night, DeChambeau received some great news after being selected to the 2018 Ryder Cup team. We close out the show highlighting a special moment from last week. Tulane retired former football player Devin Walker's jersey on the opening night of the college football season. Walker proudly wore the number 18 as a defensive back before suffering a spinal injury that left him paralyzed in September of 2012. 18 will forever be remembered not only by the football program, but across all Tulane sports. Special moment for Devin, who earned both his bachelor's in 2014 and his master's last year from Tulane. That's all we have for you on our first Olympic sports edition of The Rise. We're excited to be back, bringing you the top headlines and highlights across all sports each and every week. Join us back here tomorrow as we get ready for another action-packed weekend of football with an all-new episode of The American Huddle. We'll see you then.